Yes, Sony announced a new firmware update version 1.3 for the Sony A1 Beast, which brings impressive new video format 8K 422 in 10-bit, as well as the option for new RAW features for looseless compression in small, media and large sizes. I'm going to show you the new features as well. This video is recorded in 8K and color graded using the hand surf to create a film look in some of my clips. On top of it, I provide example 8K video footage and raw photos which you can download on my website so you can check out the quality and play around with it. But please watch the video first and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, first, what's all included in the new update 1.3? It allows you to select raw, looseless compression method in large, medium, and small sizes. Then they add the 4 to 2 10 bit selection when shooting in 8K, allows proxy recording during a remote computer connection. Then they improve the accuracy of the eye autofocus feature, which is already super fast. Then they fix some issues when you're shooting remotely. Then they improve the stability of the custom white balance and they improve the operational stability of the camera. I want to talk first about the raw files that are in looseless compression. The new update for photography period includes the looseless compression raw files in size small, media, and large. The large file maintains the same image quality as an uncompressed RAW file format, but significantly decrease the file size. You can see this in my example footage, which I have linked down below. The option medium and small size records fewer pixel, resulting in more manageable RAW files. They are even smaller in size. Basically, you can set up your Alpha 1 to shoot looseless compression in RAW with either HAVE or JPEG format. It's great if you want to deliver JPEG files immediately while also editing the RAW files for in-depth editing. As I said, I have provided several example footage shoot with the Sony A1 in RAW uncompressed, in RAW looseless compressed large, in RAW looseless compressed medium, in RAW looseless, com looseless compressed small, and RAW compressed as well JPEG and HAVE 422. I also compressed the uncompressed RAW photos using RAW-C to DNG, thereby reducing their file size even more with no visible quality loss. There is a separate video about it on my channel and also on my blog on my website, which you can watch later after this video. You can get also 10% discount by using the promo code MIKE of the RAW-C converter app. Links are down below. We have now reached the most important part of this update, recording internally in 8K 422 at 8-bit with a bit rate of 520 megabits or 260 megabits. The Sony A1 recorded already in XHVC HS 8K already, but with 420, which was acceptable, but was limited in the chroma subsampling, which only gives you one fourth of the color resolution. The new firmware update opens it to 422, and we have the full resolution for Luma and two fourths of half resolution for the chrominance or chroma subsampling. No worries, I don't want to go too technical, but basically chroma subsampling reduces the color information in a signal in favor of luminance data. This reduces the brand white without a affecting the picture quality significantly. As a result, you get higher color resolution, which is ideal for green screen recording. In a video from Camber Motion, he explained and showcased the difference between 444, 422 and 420. So shoot out to him and this incredible video. So take a look at his video later. I will not only update you about this new firmware updates. I have also some example footage, which I shot with the Sony A1 in different pictures profile as well in 422 and 420. Feel free to download it and play around with the footage. I filmed all these clips without ND filter, so you get no color changes from the filter. Before I show you some more 8K clips I filmed here in Mexico, I hope you enjoyed this video and the example footage I provide for you. Let me know if you have any more questions about the Sony A1. And please like and subscribe to follow for more videos. Comments down below what you think about the new firmware update 1.3. And until then, we see us in the next video. Thanks for watching and enjoy the upcoming clips in 8K.